I guess it started, I was in uh, Chengdu, a city in China, and I hired this guy to drive me out to a Buddhist monastery, where I was supposed to meet up with this monk who I was living with, and on the way there, the guy completely totals the car, rolls it over, we end up like ass over to in a ditch. Uh, I have to bust myself out of the car, by the time I've dragged myself out of the car, the driver's uh, caught up a lift and has buggered off. So I'm like, fine. I hitch the rest of the way to the monastery where I'm living. And um, so I stay in this monastery for a while and there's this really big uh, Buddhist festival at the time. There's like 5,000 monks who come down and stay in this one place where I'm staying. So basically my job is to go around and like feed the monks and like distribute religious scrolls and that kind of thing. And um, so I live in the monastery for a while and then after that I go out into the hills of the area and live with um, some nomadic yak herders for a while. And so I just kind of travel around with these yak herders, like herding yaks, whatever they do. And um, so I do that for a while and then uh, the monk who I'm living with um, agrees to help me get overland into Tibet, which is off limits for foreigners, you're not allowed to do that. So he's got some monk friends who are going and they say, yeah, hey, just like jump in this truck and the truck will take you where to go. But they don't tell me, in this truck are also 27 other Tibetans who I've rammed in with. I have to get a disguise, I have to get a hat and like, you know, a thing to try and disguise myself as Tibetan, who are all, you know, like five foot nothing. So, we go with that. Anyway, um, as we're driving across there, there's a big mudslide and um, it takes about a day and a half to clear and we have to get the army in to do all this, you know, clearing up work. Um, but because I'm a Westerner, I'm a foreigner, I'm not allowed to be there. So if I get seen by any of the army guys, they're going to arrest me or deport me or something like that. So what I have to do is lie on my back for 36 hours in the back of his truck, not moving, not getting up, just lying there, hat in my face in the baking sun, hoping that no one sees me because if they do, I get deported. Um, so, yeah, and you know, eventually they clear the mudslide and we get going and uh, I get all the way to Lhasa and then from there I go and, um, I go and go up to Everest Space Camp. Uh, I eat some dodgy yak meat whilst I'm there, so on my hitch up to Everest Space Camp I get dysentery and I have to get all the rest of the way there. Um, and so I finally get up there and then hitch a lift back and I'm trying to get out of the country into Nepal um, and the guys just drop me off and say hey like the Nepalese border is only like you know 50k that way just stay here you'll get a lift no problem but what they didn't say was there's a checkpoint about 20k beyond which means that no one but no one will pick up any foreigner to take them over past the checkpoint because it's illegal for them to do that so I'm stuck in this arse end of nowhere of a town uh, just outside of Everest um, waiting to get a lift my chance Chinese visa runs out in three days, so if I stay beyond that, I get again arrested or something. So I'm there in this town for two days. Um, and, you know, I'd sit by the side of a road and stick my thumb out for the day, nothing would happen. I'd go and camp by the river, come back the next day, stick my thumb out, nothing happening. And so this went on for uh, just over two days. And then finally, these Kiwi guys come along, and I just run over and wave a load of money in their face and say, Please take me across the Nepalese border. They're like, okay, fine, we'll take the money, we'll take you over. And um, yeah, eventually I get into Nepal and uh, safe and home from there. Oh, good.